So how often should you do red light therapy? This can be quite a confusing topic because there are so many opinions out there. Some people say you should do it every day or even twice a day. And then other people say you shouldn't do more than three to four sessions per week. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is breaking down each sides of the argument. And then from there, you can determine how often you should be doing your red light therapy sessions. So to start, let's discuss why some people say that you shouldn't do red light therapy too often. Now, where I think this comes from is the fact that in the scientific studies, there's a lot of studies where they don't do red light therapy every single day. I recently did a video on hair loss and I'll link above here if you wanna find out more about hair loss. But in that study, they found tremendous benefits. It was a 39% increase in hair growth and people were only doing red light therapy every second day. So that's three to four times per week. And now what people will do is they read the study and they say, okay, well, you shouldn't be doing more than that because there's benefits to that. But what's very important to understand is that scientific research has its limitations. When you have a study and you have 100 people that you need to now follow a certain protocol, it's really hard to have all those people every single day under your equipment doing red light therapy sessions. So what often happens in the published studies is that there are benefits that are shown even when doing three sessions per week, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the absolute best and optimal protocol to follow. Now that doesn't necessarily squash the concerns that you shouldn't do red light therapy every single day. But what's important to understand is the context of why red light therapy is so beneficial. Essentially what happens is most of us, because we're living indoor lives, I'm under an artificial light right now, I'm not outside, I'm not getting enough red and infrared light. And because most of us don't get to spend our entire time outside, red light therapy is now a way to supplement your light environment and bring yourself closer to nature. It's absolutely normal that you would be exposed to red and infrared light every single day in nature. That could be from sunlight, that could be in the form of heat, is also a form of infrared light. So the idea that there should be certain days where you don't expose yourself to red and infrared light is a fallacy in my opinion where if you look at how we lived in nature, we would be getting exposed to infrared light every single day. Again, there's one more concern that this doesn't necessarily address, and that is the fact that there is such a thing as overdosing with red light therapy. I'll link above here to a video where I've discussed overdosing and red light therapy. But again, what this basically means is if you do too much red light therapy, it can actually stress out your cells and you see less of a positive effect. So what could happen? If someone followed a protocol which was too much red and infrared light, so they were overdosing essentially, and they did that every single day, they would probably see more benefit if they did that three times per week because they would actually be giving their cells a chance to recover from the sessions where they're overdosing. If you follow a protocol that is actually based on scientific studies and it's not pushing you into the overdosing range, then it's absolutely safe to do that protocol every single day. And in fact, you'll probably see better results. I've seen much better results when people have a home device and they can do their treatments every single day versus someone who goes to a spa three times per week. That's obviously less convenient, but also they're not able to do their sessions daily. And as a result, they don't see the same benefits. Now, if you want to look at some of the highest quality red light therapy devices that also come with the best protocols, all of them are based on scientific studies, then I suggest you look at the mitochondria devices. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can go and check those out. And if you want to get started with one of those, there's also customized protocols so you can see whether you're looking to improve hair growth or reduce neuropathy symptoms or reduce pain levels, improve your sleep quality. All of these have specific protocols that you can follow on a daily basis and you won't be overdosing. And you can do that every single day, as I said, and it's not going to run the risk of having any negative side effects. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon.